Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at simple factorising and all factorising means is looking at the expression they've given you and work out what is common in both or all parts of the expression, putting them at the front of a bracket and then working out what you would need to multiply that initial expression by to get your original expression. Now if that's sounding confusing don't worry too much, as always with maths the easiest way to do this is by actually looking at some examples. So starting with 16x and 20y well, what do they have in common? Well, they have in common the fact that both 16 and 20 are multiples of 4. So let's put 4, first of all, outside the bracket. Then you need to ask yourself, what do you multiply 4 by to get to 16x? And clearly that will be 4x. Now ask yourself what you multiply 4 by to get to 20y. And that, therefore, is 5y. And that is your answer. And you can always check that you've got it right by multiplying out that bracket again. So over here to show that that final answer is the same as the original question, but let's cross it out because that's not actually the answer. So in B, we're looking to factorise 18x and 24x squared. So what is common in both? Well, first of all, you have x present in both. And secondly, both 18 and 24 have a common factor of 6. So let's bring 6x out to the front Ask yourself what you multiply 6x by to get to 18. Well, that's just 3. How do you get from 6x to 24x squared? Well, you multiply 6x by 4x. And that is your final answer. And then over here, we're going to prove that it works by doing 6x times 3 is 18x. 6x times 4x is 24x squared. It's the same as the original expression. The answer is correct. C is far more complicated, so we're looking for common factors found within all three expressions. So let's start by having a look at the x's. So we have an x squared here, x cubed, and x to the 4. So we know they all contain a minimum of x squared, so that's going to go at the front. Looking at the y's now, so we've got a y cubed, a y squared, and a y. So they all contain a minimum of y. And now let's look at the numbers 22, 33, and 44. What is the common factor here? Well, it is 11. And now we need to work out what we need to multiply 11x squared y by to reach all three terms. So we need to get from 11x squared y to 22x squared y cubed. So we simply need to multiply by 2. The x squared is already sorted, and then we need to multiply by y squared to get to y cubed. Comparing x squared y with 33x cubed y squared, well, to get from 11 to 33, we need to multiply by 3. To get from x squared to x cubed, we need to multiply by x. To get from y to y squared, we need to multiply by y. And now looking at the last value, so how do we get from 11x squared y to minus 44x to the 4y? Well, we need to multiply 11 by minus 4 to get to 44. We need to multiply x squared by x squared to get to x to the 4. And we've already got our y value, so there's nothing else we need to do. And if you were to multiply that all out, you would see that your answer is correct. Let's do another example. We're going slightly easier with this one. So we're going to be looking to factorise 8y squared minus 20y cubed. So the common factor of 8 and 20 is 4. And they both have a minimum of a y squared value in them. So how do we get from 4y squared to 8y squared? Well, you multiply by 2. How do you get from 4y squared to minus 20y cubed? Well, you multiply by minus 5y. And let's do one final slightly trickier example. Remember to pause the video to practice and then see if your answer matches my own. So let's have a look. What number goes into 12, 12 and 15? Well, that is 3. So we're going to bring that out to the front. We have a p value in common in all three terms. And we have a q value, which is common again. So how do we get from 3pq to 12pq cubed? Well, we need to, need to multiply 3 by 4. The p's are fine. And we need to multiply q by q squared. 
To get from 3 to minus 12, we need to multiply by minus 4. Our p's are OK, and we need to multiply by q to get to q squared. How do we get from 3 to 15? Well, we multiply by 5. Our p's are fine, and our q's are fine, and that is your final answer. I hope you found this video really helpful. Don't forget to tell your friends and teachers about my channel, and I'll be back very soon. Bye!